Well, folks, this is Dual Universe, and on this episode of Dual Universe with Sartan, we uh, go into the horizon. You see, the horizon has passed. It is perhaps coming too, though. But now that this bar is finished, that means that I have manufactured everything needed to build Captain's Customs Horizon S, the uh, space and atmospheric hauling Corvette. I have been fucking around with this for the better part of a couple weeks now, and uh, I've, I've made some interesting stuff. This has been a good, a good distraction, a productive distraction. So this is my base, and this is a tile. And that boundary is, you know, the border of my uh, space in the game on the map on this planet. It's called Ilioth. And this is Ilioth. Ilioth is pretty big. Now that now that I've played the game long enough to sort of get a sense of the scale, it's, um, you know, tens of thousands of kilometers, hundreds of thousands between different planets and even walking across this North Pole region uh, in the game, sprinting, holding the sprint key. I watched to, like Lord of the Rings while I was doing that for five hours on one day when I didn't feel like doing industry. It took me five hours to walk across all of there, get my ship, and then I was just kind of learning how to fly. Uh, a new ship that I bought that turned into another ship that I modified. <laughs> that, that's now um, my first hauler with a large cargo container. And uh, now I'm building uh, two ships. One one was more involved. I finished that horizon. And uh, they've got to, got to deploy the blueprint. I bought a blueprint for like three million quanta, which is the in-game money. And uh, to make money in this game, we usually uh, do missions between where I, where I am and uh, the main market hub mission center on this planet so you can do these different missions and today ooh, looks like good ones the uh oh, well, those are just uh classic the special ones are higher paying but um sometimes there's there's two two of these 125s last week on friday uh today is Wednesday. Um, this uh, mission was just constantly respawning. Every time I deliver it, another one would spawn. I'd go back and pick it up, deliver it. Go back and pick it up, deliver it. And a million a trip. Well, I think this one's from uh, Alioth to Fates. Right? And um, there's another mission that was to uh, Mattis. So I would deliver one from Mattis to Fades, and that didn't pay quite as much. You can see it is this big one. It's a really long distance, right? A reward per hour. So the distance between like Fades and Ilioth is 125 SU, right? Or 155. <laughs> so it's a really long trip. Like, you know, in my slow, fatter, midway taller, it takes. 45 to 50 minutes to get there one way for, you know, a million. But uh, between Fades and Mattis, the distance is slightly shorter. So, and that pays 650. And the, the delivery price was more. I was doing those back and forth, back and forth. And uh, yeah. There's like the space in this game too, like you know the ship I build is a spaceship, so um, this is the safe zone in the bubble, right? There's like no PvP allowed in the bubble, but uh, so if uh, you want to go to these places, it's usually good good to wait, like you know because you need a warp drive to get there. Otherwise, you're slowly cruising along it'll be like a several hour ride you know in open space you can get ganked 
uh, or attacked or PvP'd because it's a PvP area until you get to the planets. Right, so on, on Paoma. Oh, my schematics are done. It doesn't show you, or maybe I'm not sure how to show it, but uh, there should be like a, a safe bubble around the planet. So when you're within range to drop out of warp, you know, you, you can travel that distance and warp and be in that planet without being attacked, I think. Which is cool. So, you know, there's an option to not PvP. Um, I enjoy progressing through things. You know, like there's resources that I'm going to need on this planet, on, on Teoma. Uh, and that's Petalite and Natron and Cryolite. Right? I, I really need this hematite. That's iron. I need a source of iron. So I'm trying to get a ship that's got a warp drive that can take me there, and I'm building it. But I haven't, haven't been able to make the money to um, do the warp drive yet. Let's go look at the ships that I'm going to build. One of them I've got ready to deploy because I, I did this. <laughs> yeah. And uh, here's, here's my VR station. Right, so I can like look at a list of stuff in here, and uh, these are all the um, ship museums from two years that this game was in beta. Are all all up here? Big ship museum. big boys in here. Some of these were missing when the uh, the game first relaunched, but I guess the game game devs set out to really, you know, put these out there for display from the beta build chips that existed. Some of them won competitions. Like look at this thing. This is insane. It's gargantuan. And somebody made the frame for it by by drawing panels with cubes and shapes. So, you know, like that bulbous end there, somebody shaped those voxel materials, because that's a material. It could be, you know, a number of different uh, materials. There's tons of crafting, right? So you build the materials you need to craft with. Um, and then they're called honeycomb. Honeycomb blocks. Right? There's a lot more types in the actual honeycomb manufacturing machine. But, uh, you know, like basic honeycomb. So at least you can, you can make a machine right away without having to use a machine to make a machine. And then that makes your block supply that I don't have here back at the base. So there's like rare items that you can manufacture, but the complexity gets a lot harder. And I've only been playing this for a couple weeks, so I haven't really been trying a lot of the more complicated industry stuff yet. I got a lot that I gotta build that's basic. And I don't want to rush into committing on building something in one place. What did we have here? Oh, where did we go? Well, we found the secret bar open 24 7, and there's no flight attendant. <laughs> well, I guess we're drinking alone too. Shit. Uh, I'm actually having a double ray now, so a little, a little vodka and black cherry uh, drink mix but look at the detail that some of these people make is incredible this is a screen an item and you can make it load images from the internet it's pretty sweet garbage can 
all of these, these uh, chairs and design elements and stuff were created by artists. So I think they did a really good job. I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with uh, some of the architecture designs that people have created with the tools this game provides. You got a freaking shower. <laughs> I've, I've got a base that I started with. It's, you know, I think maybe got a urinal. Oh, I can sit on it. <laughs> hmm. Well, I can definitely wipe my own ass. That's the thing. Or, or I'm, I'm hailing my joyous, you know, bladder release. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, oh, I, I'm not permitted in there. That's Dad's room. Dad doesn't want me in his room. Uh -huh. Well, nothing I can click on that. Well, I can certainly have a snooze. Oh, yeah. There, there's third person view in this somehow, but I forget how to do it. Uh, I haven't used that a lot yet, so. And I guess this is the opt room. This is a pretty cool little lab area. Control panels, medical, medical department or something. Most stuff you can do with the screens in this game, because you can't do anything with them if if you know how to do the code. Oh man, DRM. A Borken confessor. Ah, well, like the BDSM vibe. Circa the year seven thousand three hundred and ninety two. <laughs> yeah. Confess you by altering your biological statics. And and your voice will sound like everything is fine. Oh, I'm gonna check that out. I don't know if that's the elevator that I came in with, or this elevator is linked to two elevators. Go up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Screw Daddy's room. This one's more cool. This is Auntie's room. Auntie's like... Nerd princess. Kid. She's got opterons. Oh, and epics. There's the, the, the epic retro rack. 64 core. Hmm. Man. LTO tapes never got smaller. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, not surprising. What's this? 486 tons of fuel, 13 tons of cargo. Speed tank. Oh, space fuel tanks. Not a lot of fuel tanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doesn't say the size, but they're. I'm sure one of those is, might be an extra large, <laughs> just because you know. Oh, and it's got rocket boosters too. The, you know, the rocket booster tanks are always going to be empty. Once you light them, they're done. Oh, it's more space tanks. Oh, and an Atmo tank. This is a, this is impressive. You know, I want to do Atmo uh, flight modifications to the ship that I'm going to build. But yeah, you can check out lots of stuff by doing this. Um, I've been going up. Oh, I'm on the top floor. I 
Apparently somebody didn't link those together. Oh, it's got a D shot in the front too. This is super cool. So there's asteroid mining in this game. And to find the asteroids that you mine. And it's like a derby mining thing. People people can build this and then they look. Like yeah, man. This is the machine that finds the satellites that you can asteroid mine. Or not satellites, but asteroids that you can asteroid mine. The uh, Deep Space Asteroid Tracker. Some of the ships that people have built by putting this device on the ship. You know, the nose of the ship. made some pretty cool designs out of it. Some people make theirs public. Yeah, I was blind when we came in. But, you know, shit, that one's not public. Just exit out of here. You know, let's go. Let's go see the two ships that I'm going to build. One's partially finished, and one's is, one's pretty much got all the parts sitting in the in the storage bin. So this is the one that I'm Toby 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 Wan Kenobi as uh, Belta Loda from um, the TV show. dispensers and you can buy a blueprint. So this one I don't have yet. I haven't built a container. Some decorative elements and stuff. But what I'm looking for mainly is did he add a work drive to this yet? It's got a work drive on the blueprint. What a dude. That one's three million. I mean, I could make I can make three million in a day now. But the um, the ship that I built, uh, partially so far, is this this bulbous thing over here. It's a Delta Loda. So I might have this built by tomorrow or Friday. It's in its current form, it's space only. So it has no wings. I can, I'm gonna have to like pack this thing down here and in the frame with wings. I've built the engines. Lots of room to add stuff. checking this out. That's oh, going to be sweet. Something that, that clearly shouldn't fly. Lots of room to add add-ons. More, more racks for cargo. this you know if you're into fast and fun so there's where that DSAT goes in the front of this ship and it's got a warp drive so this will be my first warp drive capable ship 
but I think I'm going to have to add a warp drive to the other one that I, I actually built first before I got this. Yeah, Delta Loda. Let's go inside. Lots of room. DSAT. Room for stuff. More cargo. Add some more like uh, boosters to this thing. More fuel. Like definitely fuel tanks are gonna sit in here. Two I've got two largest, but I don't think I can fit the DSAT in here with two large fuel tanks. However, yeah, it doesn't matter where I put the fuel tanks to. I, I didn't know that. Then I learned about these um, cargo hubs. You link the cargo containers to this device that's a display and you know wherever you put that affects your center of gravity on the ship that you're modifying or creating or Container relay. So, right, right here is the center of gravity of the ship. And basically, if I want to put fuel tanks in the front, I never like maybe put this DSAT somewhere else. But I got to take this thing out mining, and it's going to need. Oh, here's here's room for fuel. <laughs> and there's uh, two medium, two medium cargo containers. In the ceiling, but maybe I can make that into four medium cargo containers somehow. Medium, medium space fuel tank. Then you've got. 10 small space engines on it. So I need to make 10 small atmospheric engines, I think. ton of wings in the middle here. Stack medium wings. And underneath. Mediums. Medium wing tips. But yeah, that's that's the Belta Lauda. Pretty. It's gonna be a sweet ride. It'll need more work. But that's the fun thing about this game. You know and just more work. No, oh, I don't want to do that. Let's exit. Let's go see the other ship. So that was Toby Wan Kenobi's ship shop. Would recommend. Delta Lauda. The other ship there is pretty cool too. So. 
So Captain's Customs, some of these are pretty sweet. Captain's Customs got a pretty sweet shelf. So if you want to get want a token, you get a fully fully complete ship. You know, say you wanted that one. It had some cool stuff on it. You could offer to buy it and give you a token. And you claim the token and you've got that ship. But this is a horizon, I think. That's the Horizon Mini Plus. Mine is bigger. <laughs> You know, pretty pretty sweet. I like I like the artistic designs that this guy makes. These people, they're they're visually creative people that make these, and that's sweet. And that's what I like about being able to purchase these with in-game money. More. Okay, this one's got tons of small containers on it. Where was... Aha! Welcome to the bridge. And there's the warp drive. Right? Like... That, that cold blue material I had to manufacture to be able to assemble this. Or the one, the one that's similar to this that I want, wanted to assemble. Right, so I'll have to find room for a warp drive on it. stuff. Pretty sweet chair. Yeah. This guy, the guy replicated like Harley, Harley Davidson's swag in Spaceship Building. It. There's the, the radars. It wasn't like going to a boatyard. Captain's Customs. You guys are pretty cool. I do have to say. So, 2023 Horizon S has this is the big big daddy horizon over here oh this is it the Horizon S I've got this ready to build. I push a button and boom, I've got one. I can fly it after I put fuel in it. Right? So I built all of those wings, all of the engines with the machines that were in the start of the video. Yeah, let's go look inside this one. That one with the warp drive was this one's little sister. <laughs> this is this is the kick your teeth in. i I've got swagger, you know. Not the mother shit, but definitely definitely a cruiser instead of a frigate. This is still a small core ship though. But, you know, I forget. I got up there once, but, you know, but yeah, nice black gun metal. Yeah, 
There's there's the big one. That's that's grandpa and grandma. <laughs> God damn. This one has lots of cargo containers. They're big, they're multiplying. That's all the eclipse. This is a really big daddy. I think those are those are all large containers. Maybe, maybe not XLs. Supposedly XL XL containers like I've got in my base are really bad for using with ships because they've got double the weight. Through the blinding light, uh, a buckload of engines. I, I don't want to count them all. I could, but I don't want to. So, yeah, the horizon. So, into the horizon we go. It'll be one of those. Let's do it. Yeah, there's lots of these places too. Like the list here is excruciatingly long. It doesn't doesn't scroll quickly. I need to get another core. To make my landing pad larger. Let's see. So I have to, not my scanner. Deploy a construct. Let's see. I don't think I can do that yet. I've got to move. Or did I move? One last atmosphere came here. And then. I went out for, for a smoke break. Go for a puff. And this was running. Building, building engines. Like a good little um, assembly machine should. So. I can build. Four more of these. Let's do it. No, yeah, nothing else to do that. That's the last one. The atmospheric engine. Delta Lauda is going to get Atmo engines.
built need landing gears I guess pretty sweet Side, but now this one's mine. And you can push all the buttons and stuff. I still haven't seen my ships too. I'm gonna test. Move it all. <laughs> That's a lot of room. I picked up like parts from ships that I scrapped and I didn't reuse because I got bigger ones and easy to get the space. But I found a scrap ship yesterday that had been abandoned. And uh, I replaced the core, so I claimed it, and then I stripped it bare, and we repaired everything and stripped it bare until I could take the core back, because there was nothing attached to it. Let's look at it. What's going to go by here? Where did it go? Taking everything. Greedy buggers. Extra small space engines galore. <laughs> it still didn't even scratch a dent in it.
server copy stuff slow. test drive. Container and uh, where where's the gas tank? <laughs> I don't even know yet. Did I see them? Those are cargo containers. Welcome to the herd. I got a better radar for this ship too. This one's uh, just a basic. So. The space radar there's multiple ones but there's only one atmo radar which is strange but okay no question it The other fuel was in the other one. That's all right. <laughs> so I've got three ships up there I've been using already. This one's new. Let's go look at my other ships quick. So this is another one that I built on the weekend. It's just a local local mission runner, good on fuel, space capable. Been on one one short hop trip so far, and uh, my uh, military engine, carbon fiber, uh, personal vehicle, space capable. So the material is actually like carbon fiber pattern, black on gray with uh, two radars and military space engines small ones but yeah somebody else made this design it's pretty cool and uh here's my uh my thing i bought i got this ship off of the the game provided ship store um originally and then i replaced the um box of materials with carbon fiber and then made it able to carry more weight right so this thing will haul 800 and something tons total ship mass or like 460 tons of cargo one 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 large container so i added um one of each large um atmospheric and space engine to it and then added some extra space brakes a stabilizer and uh down here new interesting you know like landing gear there um, it's a platform for uh, hover engines atmosphere hover engines and um, boosters space boosters so I didn't want to go with all um, space boosters because the fuel that it, that it uses uh, when I put this together like a couple weeks ago was more unrealistic for me to be able to manufacture yeah 
for space. So I focused on the atmosphere at first because you need to get the atmosphere out of the way to get space. So yeah, I modified this and uh, yeah, she's my heavy lifter. But now that Uncle Bob's in town, <laughs> yeah. So this had like uh, seats inside and, and, and So the light turns off when you shut the door. Yeah. And here's the fuel tanks. So this used to have um, tons of, of small um, cargo containers, like shoved into corners in this thing in places. And, you know, they were all linked to a. Um, Uh, container relay so all all 10 containers no no larger than smalls and not as large as a large we're, we're filling up the inside of this thing so I removed them all and I stuck a container on top and then added the bottom weight for counterbalance so that it doesn't flop over on its side like a turtle on its back yeah and resurrection pod here Here's, here's a data bank. Yeah, well, let's go move that fuel. Uh, there's my quick access container. I didn't realize I put that one on top, but that's a pretty good idea. I unconsciously did that, I guess. Trying to start putting together my uh, uh, Tech 2 manufacturing, which I'm probably going to start working on after I train some more skills and finish building these two ships I'm working on. Because I need to build more specialized machines. But, you know, I've got 3D printers, uh, chemistry manufacturers, here's my honeycomb manufacturing plant, glass manufacturing extra large assembler so I have the extra large and two of every other other size of uh, manufacturing assembler there's uh, extra two extra smalls small medium two larges and the extra large the big big daddy makes the big big stuff I built, I built these two large containers in the extra large machine, and each one of them took 12 hours to build. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna build a, um, the, that deep space satellite tracker, deep space asteroid tracker, or the uh, Delta Lauda in, in here, and uh, yeah, I'm not making a lot of progress yet. I, I think I built the frame. This thing inputs at container hub 47. And I've been doing a bit of this to container container item shuffling because I don't have a good setup yet.
And there's the frame. Hot slide. I'm building the LEDs. I went after all much of this crap stuff to build it. I've got to build intermediate. All of these processors need to be built. And those require alloy and 3D printed item fixations. It prints on these. 3D printers. It's printing basic injectors right now. And this one was making fixations, but it ran out of plastic. So I need to move plastic to container hub 70. Should have more by now. Here's all my blueprints. Hmm. I thought there was more, but I guess not. all the air brakes. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Well, that's into the horizon. I gotta figure it out. Maybe on maybe during daylight. Maybe message the guys. Cheers. That's all for now.